Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In a previous video I showed you the unboxing of the Micotronics R58 Mini HDD and that one has a dedicated slot for a two and a half inch SATA drive and as you can see there's also another model in a aluminium housing this one also is aluminium and before that they already had the r58 mini pc plastic and as you can see here that also had a slot for a two and a half inch sata drive so i have installed a four terabyte hard disk and now I want to show you how to run a DLNA or UPnP, Universal Plug and Play server. So, for instance, DLNA that was started in June 2003 mainly by Intel and some PC manufacturers, also like Sony. And nowadays people use DLNA and Universal Plug and Play uh, as the same thing. Perhaps it's it merged together, I'm not really sure. But anyway, so perhaps People know Kodi. And nowadays, Kodi, um, you can also set it up as a universal plug and play server. So you can share your libraries. So, for instance, I have my Ulephone and I have installed VLC on it. And when I'm running Kodi with server enabled, then it can find it on the local network. So, let's see video files so to avoid any copyright claims I'm going to play Tears of Steel which has the Creative Commons license And with the default Android installation, then if you're just working with keyboard and mouse, um, I didn't find any key combination to get to the home screen. So if I press the right mouse button, then I can't exit unless I stop it. But it also means that it will kill the server functions, as you can see here. So now it quits. Uh, but what you can do is, uh, so let's just start Kodi again. Let's see if it just picks up again or not. No, it doesn't like it. Thinks it's still gone. So um, let's see. Okay. Oh, no. So let's start that again. So what you can do is that when you have the remote, 
um, you can press the home button, keep it pressed, and then you get to the home screen. And now you notice that it will keep running. So now we can just um, start something else. Meanwhile, because just serving some files, that's not really that hard for a Rockchip RK3588 device. So I'm going to stop the video here for now. And I'm going back to Cody. And now I'm going to quit it again. So let's just exit. Because there's also something else, uh, there's DLNA server. But that's a bit weird because if I go to the Play Store and I search for DLNA server on my Mikrotronics, it doesn't show up. So if we search for Android DLNA server, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Now you can see that there is an app, DLNA server by Oleg A. But for some reason, uh, the Mikrotronics device is not listed as compatible. I'm not really sure why it is like that. So what I did was that I found it on a alternative app store so in this case aptoid and if we search for dlna server Or should we just search for it as one word? Yeah. Or not? Oh, yeah. So I installed it through Aptoid. And so here's the button to start it. And you can also pause it or stop, stop it. And now in this case, we go back to VLC. And here you can see that it found the DLNA server. Oh. And we can start Tears of Steel again. And with this app, you can simply just use the right mouse button to go back and it will keep running in the background. So if you have like, a, let's just say, a Android phone or tablet, then you can easily multitask.
but with the Mikrotronics that's not that simple uh, unless you use the uh, remote so as you can see it's still running so yeah I'm really happy with my Mikrotronics uh, with a two and a half inch SATA drive so I have a four terabyte model uh, I already saw a eight terabyte model and I'm pretty sure that in the future we will see something like a 16 terabyte model and who knows how far they will take that and again um, you can use something like DLNA server or Kodi uh, as a DLNA server or universal plug and play server not just for Mikrotronics but just any Android dev device so if you have like an old phone or an old tablet and I think especially if it has like a something like a micro SD slot then it's really easy to set up your Android device as a DLNA server. So that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.